So the Ukraine crisis is of course hitting the European economy quite badly at a time when it was recovering from the pandemic. But we already had relatively high inflation and now the Ukraine crisis, as we've seen from the numbers yesterday, is adding massively to inflation and putting a big strain on household budgets. And of course, if household budgets are strained, then consumption will suffer and sort of the recovery is delayed. The other part is, of course, the high uncertainty because we don't know how, this, how long this war will last and to what extent further disruptions, for example, in energy supplies or in food production and so forth, are still to come. And in this period of uncertainty, for example, business investment and so forth will also be put on hold. So it's, it's hitting Europe really badly. But that being said, we were in a relatively robust recovery. The growth projections were sort of three, four, five percent for some countries in Europe. Now this recovery will be slower. So it's not that it's hitting us at a time when we were sort of really down in the, in the pandemic slump. So there's, there's some upside. But of course, the main thing is that this war ends and uh, whatever brings this war to an end faster will also help economically quite significantly.